What's up guys, it's me Clarence, gonna finally bring you a tech review. I decided since I'm already turning on my G1, because I just had to turn it back on, I decided I'd just go ahead and do this review now. So actually it is over the Dark Star theme on Cyanogen 4.2.5. Best ROM out there at the, to at, at the moment. I don't know, I mean whenever Hero comes out with the 2.1 ROM, I'm probably gonna jump right on that. It seems like it'll be the best out there, but this, like I said, is running the Dark Star theme. It's not the Eclair theme but it is still completely amazing. I only checked it out because I thought that it would give me better battery life because Carlos Graves, Guppy Graves on YouTube and GamerCore, Emo Gamer on YouTube has completely had amazing battery life. So this is what it looks like. Lock screen's a tad bit different. It's actually a little bit tinier, which I do not like. I like being able to see the time as soon as I click on it, but I mean, I've got two places to check out the time. And Sorry if the video's a little blurry. I'm using my flip, so it's going to be blurry and annoying. But the battery life has been okay. I mean, I've had this thing unplugged since about 11 o'clock. It is now going on 8, and I still have 70% battery life, which you can't read it, but it's up there on my battery bar. Go ahead and unlock it. For some reason it's asking me. Yeah, my weather forecast widget thing is sometimes asking me for the location, but... It has been giving me better battery life. That's probably the only good thing out of it. And it does look amazing. I mean, look at the widget drawer. Not the widget, but the application drawer. It looks all fancy. Let's see here. There's really not much to show you. It's pretty much just like Cyanogen. The only difference is, is you got a black bar up there, which kind of looks like Hero. A little bit fancier notification drawer. See-through. And... Really, this is all I can tell you. It's just as fast as anything else. There's me with my girl. She's making a funny face. And, yeah. I do like how this looks a little bit more like 2.0. At least I think that's what 2.0 looks like. Is here on the power management widget. Just kind of fancy. I like it. The thing I do not like about Dark Star um, is the fact that there's only three screens like you normally have. And um, Eclair has five, so as you can tell, there's only one, two, three, and I can't go any farther. And that's kind of annoying. I liked five. I don't like how Hero has seven. That's a little bit too many, but three will do. I mean, I don't have much on this. I have a few of my apps on there and my main apps on here. And that's really pretty much all. There's not really a big difference between the Eclair theme and the... Dark Star, except this Dark Star will give you better battery life. Not significant, significantly better like I expected, but I mean, yesterday, compared to normally, I would take the charger off. I'd take it off at, let's say, around 8 in the morning, and it would probably be almost dead around 9 or 10. Well, last night it lasted me till midnight before it finally decided to have like 2%, which when it hits 2%, that 2% is going to last you probably about another 30 min minutes to an hour. Surprisingly, it it's different, but sorry if this review is kind of terrible. This is my first time doing a ROM review, so it's, I don't know. It's hard for me to do these. It's not like anything else. I mean, I don't know about very much technical stuff when it comes to ROMs and G1s right now. So once I start doing a little more of these, it's going to be better. So I can promise you my reviews will get better when it comes to this. My next one, I'll probably do it over the um, Hero 2.1, and it's it's going to be awesome. I love the Hero Sense UI. It is probably the best Android out there at the moment. So that's what I like. So guys, thanks for watching. Sorry this couldn't have been a better review. Like I said, I'll try to make them a little bit better over time. And please rate, comment, subscribe. So yeah, um, go check out Emo Gamer here on YouTube, and his Twitter is GamerCore. Like I said in like two videos ago, he will pretty much reply to any at reply. So thanks for watching and peace, love, and ROMs.